risk of losing it. There are even applications to help soothe your pain. On a scale of one to five, how would you rate your heartache? Thank you, Dad. Mm. <clears throat> <laughs> Alliance, please turn off the app. Uh, Marinette Dupain Chang, you have been an exemplary holder of the miraculous of the ladybug. You've always used the power of creation for the greater good. Adrian Agrest, you have been an exemplary holder of the miraculous of the black cat. You've always used the power of destruction for the greater good. I wish I could say the same about me. The task you were performing so well has become too much of a burden crushing you. Your mission is now over. But Monarch... Someone will succeed you. You won't have to hide anything anymore from the ones you love. You can finally be yourself. You don't have to do this, Jiki. This means you can finally be in love with Adrian. This means you can tell Marinette all your silly, soppy feelings. Uh, we'll see each other again. Right, Tiki? I'll never forget you, Marinette. Never forget me, Adrian. <laughs> hmm. Adrian's sadness is even greater than before. Now that he has an alliance, he will make an even more powerful akumatized villain. Kalki. Your power is mine! Voyage, my mega Kuma! I can no longer feel his negative emotions. Uh. They didn't accept my application! Nora! You should have done this! What a powerful negative emotion. Let's take a closer look. So much anger in one single person, with five alliances to boot? Rejoice, dear Kwamis. Five alliances enables as many miraculous powers to transfer at the same time. This villain promises to be exceptional. <laughs> I do. You were fantastic, Alia. Hmm. Oh, it's the interview, wasn't it? Did I say something wrong? No, no, you were perfect. It's just, I was thinking about Marinette. I hope she's okay. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Marinette's here! Mm -hmm. She brought chouquettes! Uh, Marinette! Oh. Enjoy, you little tornadoes. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Tiki couldn't have made a better choice to replace Ladybug. Oh, Marinette! Well done, Tiki. Wow. This morning, my BFF couldn't leave her bed, drowning in a pool of her own tears, and suddenly now, look at those happy dry eyes and rosy cheeks. Do we miss an episode or something? Adrian! Oh, uh, Adrian! You left your bag at my place? He left his bag at her place? Yes, uh, no, you can't come over. Uh, no, 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 nothing serious. I'm just, uh, shaving my socks. <laughs> I just hate Lent. Sure, okay, I'll bring you your bag tomorrow. Oh, shaving my socks, it makes no sense. I can't believe myself sometimes. How many episodes did I miss? What? No, there's been no new episode. Then, how did we go from, I'm pathetic and I'll never love again, to, yay, I'm going out with Adrian? I'm not going out with Adrian. 
Hmm, but he did leave his bag. So he was over there, wasn't he? <gasps> did you guys kiss? No! Did you at least hold hands? No, we didn't! Uh, I got it, you finally told him you loved him! Uh, that's not exactly how it went. So then, exactly how did it go? Well, I raised my right hand or the left, sometimes both, I don't know. All right, so then I didn't miss anything, we're just back at episode one. How's the new holder of the Black Cat Miraculous? You think he can handle Monarch? How about you? You can't tell a thing to Nino. You sure it's gonna be okay? Stop worrying about this stuff. Secret identities, the war on Monarch, that's all Scarabella and Kitty Noir's problem now. You no longer have to worry about losing your Miraculous because of love. Just focus on Adrian. I'm sure you can do better than just raising your hand whenever he talks to you. <laughs> Claws in! Panache and repartee, you have my congratulations. You only lack one thing keeping you from being the perfect holder, a cheese cellar. Then you'll be happy, Plague. I live in a hotel, and the restaurant has the largest cheese cellar in Paris. Largest cheese cellar in Paris. Largest cheese cellar in Paris. Cheese cellar in Paris. <laughs> but you'll have to be very careful. Careful is my middle name. <sighs> Here. You and your dirty sneakers are not allowed inside the restaurant. The half of a sister zone is limited to the freight elevator, the back stairs, and the broom closets. Get ready to move back to New York. Ma! So, you're actually totally in love. Utterly, absolutely, totally in love. She's so amazing. I could talk about her for hours. I mean, I won't, because that would put her secret identity at risk. It doesn't really matter who she is. What matters the most is that she loves you back. So, does she? I think so. Yeah. I'm super happy for you. <laughs> so you're in love too? So much! Well, I can't tell you anything because it would jeopardize my secret identity, but you know what I mean! What matters isn't what you tell me, it's what you tell him. Did you tell him how you feel? Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, everything's so natural between us, we don't even need to say anything. Miraculous ladybug! <laughs> I'm super happy for you, milady. Can you believe it? I have a girlfriend, you have a boyfriend, and we can talk about it. Like real friends. It's, it's awesome. awesome. Pound, Pound it. it. Catch you later. Uh, this is all just so ridiculous. I mean, I can say anything to Cat Noir, tell him anything that's on my mind, but with Adrian, I, 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 uh, see, that's the problem. I, 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 I can't even put two words together. Kagami! Oh no, she did everything she could to bring Adrian and me together. She's gonna ask, How's everything going, Marinette? And I'm gonna stammer back, Oh yeah! Oh, so Adrian's got feelings for me and he knows I've got feelings for him. And then she'll say, Great! Did you guys go all kissy kissy? And I'll say, No! I can't even talk to him because I'm pathetic and she'll find me ridiculous! Utterly ridiculous! I can't pick up and talk to her, Alia. I'll do it once I've talked to Adrian. Ah! But I'll never talk to Adrian! Does that mean I'll never call her back? Or only when I'm really, really old! By then she won't even remember me! Alia, I'm the worst friend ever! Am I the worst friend ever? Girl, 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 you're mm. almost there. Adrian knows you love him, and you know he loves you. The only thing you need to do to is... To be a little less pathetic? No, don't be afraid to accept help from your friends instead of running away from them. Remember, uh. look into each other's eyes. In our plan, I mean our story, the characters are very, very close. That's it, that's it. Now they need to hold hands. <laughs> would you mind? Why on earth would I mind? Sorry, I'm such a klutz. I was born for this role. <laughs> Come on, kids. We need feeling. We need poetry. That's it. You're almost there. Let yourself fly. Ah! Oh, sorry. I'm such a klutz. Places, everyone. Today, we're going to practice empathetic listening. You are going to take the hands of the person sitting next to you in your hands and express all the emotions you feel for them. Hey, that's Marinette's seat. 
Oh, really? I don't see a reserved sign anywhere that reads pathetic, ridiculous, or utterly ridiculous on it. Forget it, Alia. I don't need to sit next to Adrian. Chloe, Marinette has every right to sit next to Adrian if it makes her happy. And we have every right to make her life miserable. But we have to be hush-hush about it. Hmm. You've earned your place as my best friend. Hmm.